tweeters? Beware, as one woman found out, what you tweet could put you in court. Here's ABC's Eric Hall. Amanda Bonin moved out of this Chicago high-rise a few weeks ago, but not before griping about her landlord on Twitter. Who said sleeping in a moldy apartment was bad for you, she wrote. Horizon Realty thinks it's okay. Now the not-so-sweet tweet could land Bonin in court. Her landlord is suing her for defamation, seeking $50,000. What began as a remark to just 20 followers on Twitter has now sparked outrage throughout the web. You know, the Internet is, is a free place. You know, you can say pretty much whatever you want. Bonin has refused comment and has since closed her Twitter account, but Horizon Realty is talking. The company told a newspaper it found no mold in Bonin's apartment and called itself a sue first, ask questions later kind of an organization. Defamation applies to a false statement of fact that injures reputation. And I don't think they're going to be able to prove that their reputation was really injured by a tweet to 20 people. This is a terrible mistake by Horizon. This woman made a comment, it would have absolutely disappeared. But people need to be aware that putting something on Twitter is the same as making a public statement in a lot of ways. So you have to be careful about the potential legal consequences. This isn't the first Twitter lawsuit to be filed. Singer Courtney Love was recently sued for libel after blasting her former fashion designer on Twitter and MySpace. Increasingly, social networking sites are being used as a cyber bullhorn. We found scores of I hate my landlord discussion groups on Facebook. And some doctors are so wary of websites that rate their care, they're asking patients to keep their comments off the Internet. I'll respect the patient's privacy and they should uh, respect my uh, privacy as well. Don't sue me. This latest Twitter lawsuit is enough to give users pause. If there's something that I would think that would might haunt me, then I'd probably not say it. For some, being bitter on Twitter could prove expensive. For Good Morning America, Eric Hong, ABC News, Chicago.